Yeah, I got me some eight grass on my balcony. I'm trying to get my balcony together or whatever. But yeah, anyways, as y'all can see, today is just a vlog of, guess what? I don't even know. Today we're just gonna be doing whatever. We're just gonna see whatever I do. Like, this is just a vlog that's gonna consist, consist of whatever I plan to do because I really don't know what I want to do today, but I do know our first stop is going to be me taking myself out to brunch at this place I've been to once before, and it was so bomb. So I really think that's going to be our first stop. I want to eat first, and then I might try crumble cookie today, and then what else should I do? I don't know, but if at six, no, at five, I have a graduation cookout to go to. My homegirl graduation, my homegirl brother graduation cookout to go to. So we gotta do everything by five. It's already two o'clock. So um, we just gonna get the day started or whatever. I don't know why I got my pants bunched up like that. But we about to get the day started. This is really like a little day in the life for me. Before we get too far in this video, I want everybody to make sure they like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, make sure you tell all of y'all people to subscribe to my channel. And turn on y'all post notification button so y'all can get notified every time I post a new video. And if you're new here, hey. And if you're not, welcome back. Let's go to brunch. I'm gonna give it like a 
six out of ten. Okay, y'all, I'm out of there. I just came up, to, up here to give y'all a little rundown on, you know, how I felt about the food or whatever. So, I came in, and of course, I came here for brunch. Last time I came here for brunch, I missed brunch because I didn't come on a Sunday. But they had told me that they do brunch every Sunday for the whole day. So I'm thinking today when I woke up or whatever, I had time to take my time because I'm a breakfast person. I love breakfast. So I'm thinking like when I get there, regardless of what time it is, I'm going to eat breakfast because I'm going to a cookout later. So I don't want to get no heavy food. So um, the place, 10 out of 10. That's why I came back. I definitely do recommend the brunch here on Sundays before three o'clock. I get here right at 3.15 and then I asked them was it too late. She went to go check for me, but um, unfortunately it was too late. So um, the food I had got, this was the only thing up there that I wanted today. I will probably come back and try something else, but I had got the baby back ribs. I think it was baby back. Um, but I got ribs, coleslaw, and mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes and corn. The coleslaw was different. It wasn't the cold, the white coleslaw that we used to. It was like some salad with some type of coleslaw sauce on it. But I didn't really like it. It wasn't bad. It was probably like a 4 out of 10. But um, the ribs was definitely a 10 out of 10. Like I love barbecue sauce and the barbecue sauce was busting. Um, the mashed potatoes, 10 out of 10. They was real rich. Like, it I'm in my head like, it tastes like they really like boiled the potatoes, scraped the inside out, and put them in a little blender that make it real smooth. Because as I'm like moving it around in my mouth with my tongue and stuff, that's not that crazy. It was real smooth and it's like I could taste the butter. I'm like, what type of butter is this? Because it's just giving the mashed potatoes the whole vibe or whatever. But yeah, anyways, that's a 10 out of 10. Um, I still got like an hour to spare before the cookout. My sister called me talk about a carnival. Knowing I don't like carnivals no more. I don't like them no more. I'll get on the, I mean, I do, but I'm a cry. It don't matter. I'm a cry. I don't like heights, but it's crazy because I can go to Bush and get on roller coasters. I'm the one forced everybody I'm with to get on roller coasters all day long. And I didn't roll every roller coaster. I can even ride the Griffin over and over and over. And for some reason, I think it was because I was in the air for so long it was like put me down like i could go up in the air and drop but i can't stay up there like put me down why do you, like why do you want me up here put me down but anyways y'all before i end this little clip let me tell you about these embarrassing press ons so i've been taking a break from getting my nails done as y'all can see my press ons was just the falling off while I'm eating. My press ons was just falling off while I was eating, y'all. And it was just like so embarrassing. It was like, I walked in with all of my press ons on and then I walked out with missing three of them. So, yeah. I don't know about press ons. They don't give the girls what they supposed to get. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to bust this U-turn. Yeah, I just got to my mom's house to see my dog. Let's see how excited you be to see me. Blitz! Hi, the man. No, sister, don't jump on me. Move! You stay getting me dirty. Mm -hmm. Move! Uh. Move! No, no, sister. No, sit down. Sit. You pissing me off. Move! Uh. No, stop. No. That 
No jumping on me. Stop. Y'all need to move. No. Y'all get me dirty. That was just an epic fail. I should never went out there with these light clothes on. Like, light clothes. Let's go see what my mama doing. Okay, y'all, so it's the next day, and I had an eye doctor's appointment this morning, so my eyes might look a little weird because they got dilated and they're very sensitive to the light right now. I'm about to give me some new glasses. Y'all should see that real soon, about the next two, three vlogs. And so I have to keep these on or whatever, but me and Dur, we about to go to the hair store so I can show her the makeup that she needs so I can teach her how to do her makeup. So stay tuned for that. Okay, you need a lighter one for under your eye, and you need a darker one for over your eye. So put this one up there and put that up there. That? Yeah, put this one up there. You're going to learn how much you Bitch, need. Mine's way light. No, you need more than that. For real? Yeah, you're going to need more than that. Okay. Okay, that's enough. And then do that again with the other one you got. For real? Mm hmm You pick the one. Yeah, because it's always opposite. My eyebrows grow different, so it'd be hard. I got to shape them when I get to the concealer part. I can't really shape it with this. <laughs> it's going to look funny, but you're going to clean it up with the concealer. Just fill it in, basically. Black <laughs> instead of pink. Girl, it's supposed That's to be cute. Whoa. Blush it out. It's gonna look natural. Okay. Do my eyebrows look right? Okay, I think they look okay. Yeah, I think you should brush the other one out more to the end. Bring it down more. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, see how that one is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then comb it out. Like that? Yeah. A little bit more? No, just brush it now. Okay. Okay. So this is how you know if your eyebrows even. You see how right there you got that one line that come from right here? Mm-hmm. See how you got the one line that come from right here? Kind of bring it to the middle of your nose, like right here. Like kind of drag it to the middle of your nose. You want both of them lines to meet right here. Bring both of them together. Oh, I think I did so. Don't move too fast. Take your time. Perfect. Now meet both of them lines. Connect them both. Yep. Connect it. And then when you see that V right there, do the make your brush flat mm -hmm. and bring it up like in the middle of your head. That's how you know your eyebrows the same. Look in this mirror. That's how you know if they're the same. 
or if you need to bring one up higher. So now we're gonna go to the top and do the darker concealer. That's that. Are look. they the same? Yeah. Okay. See. And then you go to the top and you do the arch at the top, mm -hmm. and then that's gonna let you know if you need to bring them down more or up more at the bottom. Never touch it too much when you get to the bottom until you do the top. Then it'll tell you if it'll show you if you have to go up more at the bottom because you don't want to OD and you can't fix it. Uh -huh. Okay, so now dip in your darker one, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do the top. So you gonna watch me do the top first? Mm. I didn't even okay, know. Okay, so. Sometimes when you first dip, it'd be too much um, well, concealer dip. Mm -hmm. So I tap my forehead a little bit, and then I go down. Like, and you just stay right above your stuff like that. <laughs> and then when I go back now, I know I got to go up more at the bottom mm -hmm. to make this end more skinnier. So I'll go back in with my light, and I'll go up more right here. This way is never fucking me up. You look good to me. I think like, hey, I think y'all making me nervous. How are we making you nervous? But that's perfect. That's perfect. No, the fuck yes, is it not. is because now you have to do this. I'm. I was waiting to get you to that part. Blend it out. Don't go down no more, dude. You gonna fuck it up. <laughs> See how you went down? Now you gotta take it and you gotta go straight and then. Cause it's like your front going down more than your mm -hmm. end. Yeah. Don't do too much. Go light. Bring it down more because it's a little high. Yeah, right there. Okay, now stop. See? You got a perfect oh, brow. Okay, so and I you gonna blend go that out. Now. Okay. Yes, you have a perfect brow. Your brow looks better than mine. High five. Like, a little arch right there. Yeah. At the end, bring it like a a, a round shape. Don't have it. That little, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, little, yeah, 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 V shape right there. Okay, I think that's good. That's pretty. Okay, now on this side, Dara, you see how right here at the end, it's, it's a little thicker than the other side. You gotta go up a tad bit right the there bottom. at the corner and the edge, right there. Go from the back of your eyebrow to the front. I usually do like front, the, front end. the back. Front you could do back. front to back, just go in the end shape. Okay. Don't never take it all the way under your eyebrow. You know how you had, you know how you got this little cut crease right here? Uh -huh. Yeah, like from where this start, you wanna fill in all that. Don't ever go too close to your eyebrow cause your eyebrow is supposed to stay light underneath. Oh. That's how you get that highlighted look under your eyebrow. Mammy D, you gotta blend all the way to your neck so it can look like you. After, you gonna take your beauty blender and you're gonna pat everything in like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, dear, so now we have a pop quiz. <laughs> so while you, did, while you beat your face in. Is what this was too dark? It? Nope, it's perfect. What was the first step we did? We did our eyebrows. Well, what did we do with our eyebrows? We, did them we filled bitches. them and then we brushed them. We did them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we filled them and then we brushed them and then after that, what we do? Because I want you to remember each step before you do your makeup. Um, the V thing. The concealer. Uh huh. And then we did the eyeshadow. Yeah, the V thing with the concealer, and then we did eyeshadow. Um, no, we did something. And what was the tip that I told you to remember for your eyebrows when you conceal them? Never go too far up, and never go. Too how you gonna answer? How you gonna ask me a question then answer it? Cause I'm gonna ask you this again. I don't like being quiz. I just like doing it. No, I mean, I'm doing the quiz so you can remember what you're doing. Beautiful head. Yep. Damn. Yeah, you're coming together. You look like you just got about somebody chair. Somebody. <laughs> 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 you gonna say your okay. concealer? Yep. And you, you can do that and then get your brush that you put on your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And you go on. Oh, the 
because I like my under eye light. Okay, so give me I need my shit. <laughs> if you need a lighter, you could always put some light on top. Okay, so you're gonna go like this. Start from the corner of your eye and go down. Go straight down by your nose. You're going like this. Yeah, go down like that. And then you're gonna go like this. From where the corner, from where the end of your nose start to the end of your eyebrow is where you're gonna fill in like this. Like that. So fill in that gap, yep. But make sure you're bringing it from, make sure it's all smoothed out from the top to the bottom. Don't go too far to your cheekbone. But yeah, you're good. And then do that to the other side. Just say that. Got it? Mm -hmm. Actually, Dara, I want you to go a little lighter on your eye. Because it cannot look like the same shade as your foundation. So put that not on top. Close to it. Mm -mm, not even close to it. It has to be lighter. That's the only way it's going to look. That's going to give the looks. Yeah. That's perfect. We should have went with that a lighter one. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, okay, so you see how you got that line? You just do a line right here, and then you're gonna go like this over your eyebrows with the light concealer. Like this? You're gonna go like, to make the eyebrows look more sharper, you gotta go from that line, and kinda go on the outside of them. You're gonna go over what you did already. Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna make the eyebrows look more sharper. Okay. It don't need to be too sharp. No, it's gonna make them look more clean, is what I mean, not sharp. Yeah. I used the wrong word. It's already clean. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> See how I'm fixing my eyes up, basically? Yeah. I guess I'll do it. And yeah, it'll pay off in some way. Blend it out. Yeah, blend it out. With this? With the same brush. You can blend up with that if you want. Yeah. It's cute. I like this part. You don't like how that look? You don't like the look I do. of that? I do. Yeah. I like that. But how you like blend it? Do you blend your already? No. I, I blend, blend the top of my forehead. Huh. Not too far up. Just stay in that one spot. You don't want your whole forehead like, like that. You're doing amazing. Oh, yeah. It'd be this part. Make sure you get all around your face. In between your edges, your forehead. Right here on your eyebrow. Yeah. Ready? You done? I need to put some more on my face. Yeah, at the end, at the end. Where is shot at? Yeah. Just keep tapping, keep tapping. Tap out and then you go down. But never go exactly how it is. So I'm tapping from here to here and here to my nose. Like diagonal to my nose. Mm -hmm. Make sure you actually tapping though and not like I mean like patting and not tapping. Yeah, pat it in like that. And come down. Never go lower than when you put your contour up. Yeah, blend all that in. From your nose to the corner of your eye. Mm -hmm. The most you can do is go under your lip. Okay. Now tap this real light, because that's your highlight area. Tap it to where it's blended in. Yeah. Okay, now it should be good like that. It's kind of a harsh line. It's supposed to be like, you're going to put highlight over top of it. Okay. Yep. You're going to put the egg. You see how I got that little point? Mm -hmm. Put it right in the point of your eye. It's sitting there. And you pat out. And then, yeah. Pat some more beard. Don't be scared. Because it's the bacon part. They come right here in your nose. 
stay awake today. Yeah. Something in the middle like that. And then I put some like in the front of my eyebrows too. Like a little bit in the front. To lighten it up, yeah. So they could look more natural. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, you look yours. I look like a clown, but it's okay. Alright. Well, we both look like clowns. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how you do it. Ooh, I think the hardest part for you is gonna be outlining your lips. You not know outline your lips? Mm hmm Okay. Your makeup good. Girl, stop hyping. I mean, let's see, because I be doing that sometimes. Because sometimes it'll slip and do it itself. I feel like, yeah, I'm about to say, I gotta you, it don't lighter. even look dark. Did you put some? Then when you do that again, if you need to go in and darken up your cheek so it won't be a harsh line right there, mm -hmm. blend out your cheek and the and the powder that you just did. But with me, you got that powder look perfect. You don't need one on top. My powder too light, so I gotta go on top with this and make it a little darker. Where the big one? <gasps> Look at the baby! That's the baby. That's the baby. Whoa, ribbit. Why did I make a ribbit? Look at the little baby. Why did I make a ribbit noise? Hey, I know he's squishy as fuck. Look at the little baby. No, that mean they everywhere. Whoa, whoa. He asked somebody dope. He gonna get in it. Oh. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, this is Dara's ending. I think it's perfect for our first try. Dara, what you think? This is my first time. I had a great instructor. I feel like I just gotta, you know, tone some stuff down. Yeah. Cause she really like it. She just don't like how high she did her eyebrows. But y'all comment down below and tell us how y'all like it. I don't got no lashes on this one, hey. But mm -hmm. I basically gave her the steps cause she knew how to do it, but not this much. Like she learned a lot. So I just taught her the concept. So when she do it again, she could do it how she like it, do her eyebrows how she like it. And she just learned from here. So. But that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. And we out.